What's up everyone, this is the Raw Truth coming at you with a video I know it's been some times, you know I, uh, been trying to take care of some things You know, that came up So I had to take a little, as we call it, a little sabbatical You know, a little vacation Even though it did not feel like a vacation at all One thing I want to talk about and address Is, um, the e Quality that we see the black woman that has children versus the black woman who was married and have children. I'm seeing a problem that we have in the community, and it's quite sometimes I know a couple people you know they may have touched on it, but I really, 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 really gotta hit this home. And the problem is this. What we have in our community is every time a black woman have kids or whether it be teenager or somebody who is of age who no better have kids, what we see all the time is that they're not being married. They're not laying down with husbands and having kids. And what's wrong with our community is we seem to always praise that woman. We praise that woman for having kids. Oh, she's a good mother. Oh, look at the kids. Throw her baby showers. Buy her a whole lot of things and stuff like that. Meanwhile, she was not married. And now, women who are married, who lay down with the husband, who was a wife and laid down with the husband and have kids, we seem to treat them as the same as a woman who didn't. Well, gentlemen, ladies, I'm here to let you know, we've been in error. And the reason why we've been in error about this is because we need to start shaming black women for having kids without a husband. I know. I know, go ahead, give it to me, give it to me. Say, oh, it's not fair, bo ho ho, it's not fair, you need to talk to these men. Well, wait a minute, black woman, weren't you the ones who said that you wanted the control of picking your own man? Didn't you say that, black woman? Didn't you start doing that since the 1960s, picking your own men, exploring your sexuality? Here you go, black woman, you know how to eliminate the 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 fault and the blame on you well way back in the days i'm sure the uh old school who was in the 70s and 80s know this way back in the day the the people who were in their 70s and 80s who was born back then back in the day it was the father and the father and the brothers or the uncles the men who looked at the other man who sees that he is he has quality he could provide and he can lead a family if he could do that and have good morals and I'm not talking about the rinky dink morals you think that you have I'm talking about the good morals as far as guiding a family knowing that when there's trouble situations he's not going to be abusive when there's problem situations and the storm is arise he knows how to conduct himself at a great in, in a great manner and so they will look at the quality of that man and say, okay, that man is good f for my daughter. That man is awesome. And so what normally happens is they will get together with that man and bring the daughter there and pair the daughter up with that man. And what happened, what start to happen is what? We had stronger families back then. Why? Because the strong man was being by the father, by the men, by the elders of the family who are the men. Why? Because the men know that if it left up to the woman, she's going to wind up being like some of the women back then. And it wasn't the majority. It was very, it was small amount of number of women who was out there who picked their own men and wound up getting pregnant by the Pookie and Ray Ray's back then. So you have to understand, whenever a man who was good 
the daughters a lot of times didn't want that man. But they told the daughter, look, it's not really what you want. It's our community that needs to be built up. It's the men, it's the men that need to be built up and, they, and spread his seed and spread his seed to produce stronger men. If you spread your legs to men who are husbands, who are the strong men, you're going to reproduce strong men. But see, it's not like that today. It's not like that today at all. Why is it not like that today? I'm going to tell you why. Because during the feminist movement, that's when black women began to explore their sexuality. So when they threw the fathers off the house over two generations, now we have all these homes fatherless. And what's happened when you have all these homes fatherless? There's not a man to pick a man that's not suitable to you, but that man that is suitable to the community of uplifting and building a community. I get sick and tired of hearing people talk about we want to build the community, but yet you are trying to build with Pookie and Ray Ray. I'm not building with Pookie and Ray Ray. The hell with Pookie and Ray Ray. I don't give a fuck about Pookie and Ray Ray. You know why? Because we see where Pookie and Ray Ray's sons are. They're in prison. They're crips. They're bloods. They're Latin kings. They're in the Latin gangs. Nothing good comes out of Pookie and Ray Ray. Had the father been there and the brothers been there, I mean, you people, you, you black woman, you claim that you love God, right? Could you not forget about Jeremiah 29, 6, where it says to the men, take ye wise. Fathers, and then also said, take wise for your son. And then it says, fathers, give your daughters away. It never told you women to choose. It never told you women to choose. Every time, almost every time you women choose a man, look what happened. Over 85% of you black women have at least one child. Over 66% of black women have two children or more children by two or more different men. And it's heading over 60% of you black women having an STD. 85% of you black women are overweight. Your pussies are ran through, you ran through, and your mind is going mad because you had so many guys. So I'm, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the fruit of what's coming out of our community. Why? Because you black women are picking your own man. And you're not even picking husbands. Y'all picking a man that make you feel good just for that time. And when y'all run through downright devalue and depleted, what happened? Now you want to go to the good man, huh? The man that you want, that you rejected so many times, the rejects that y'all love to throw in our face is the same man you go back whenever everything is done and and y'all ran through and y'all devalued like crazy. And that's the problem in our community. We have a lot of black women who are devalued, who was trying to find value in a man. How? But see, there's a problem with, with you black woman in your mindset. Because y'all did this, y'all feel that y'all need accolades. Y'all think that y'all need uh, all this praise and stuff. Well, I have four kids, and I raised four kids. And y'all wind up going to Oprah Winfrey and talking about how y'all raised, y'all raised these kids. And now your son's in the NBA you know, looking you know, for y'all to be taken care of and stuff like that with no father in sight. Let me tell you something. If you black woman have never laid down with the husband to produce children, you are a failure. I'm a product of a failure. Yes, you hearing it from the raw truth. The raw truth just cut on his damn self. I'm a product of a failure. I wasn't born through marriage. My mom didn't lay down with a husband and have me. I'm a product, but see, here's what's the difference. I'm man enough to face that I'm a product of that. So what the hell am I going to do about it? I'm 40 years old and I have no children. Why didn't I have no children? Because I'm not going to whore around like my father. I'm not going to whore around and treat women like my father treated my mother. No, 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 no. I'm going to wait till I get married. Hey, call it what it is. Well, you're 40 years old. You're 40 years old. <laughs> you're 40 years old. Well, excuse me. Um, how old was Abraham when he had uh children? <clears throat> I'll wait. <clears throat> I'll wait for your folks to read the Bible. 
So what we have here is we having, you know, um, that black women should be shamed for having kids without being married. A whole lot of shame should be coming to these black women. Why? Because the more you shame them, the more the more you start breeding that logic in them. You start breeding that accountability and that responsibility in them. Don't sit up there and tell and say we need men to stand up and be men or men y'all need to control yourself when it's the men See, y'all women, y'all dealing with males. Y'all not dealing with men. That's the problem. Y'all have been dealing with males because that's who y'all choose. Because a real man like myself will put y'all behind and check. We will check your ass. We will let you know when you're wrong. We will bring logic to you. We will hold you to responsible and accountable, which you black women don't want. But yet, you're the ones who want to hold us accountable and responsible. See, whenever... Uh, Pookie and Ray Ray impregnate y'all and he leaves y'all. Nobody should feel sorry for you, black woman. The only woman I feel sorry for, black woman, and I'm going to tell you this, the only woman I feel sorry for and will have very, very huge amount of empathy for and will probably father her children as if she was a wife who laid down with a good man, got pregnant by a husband, Brought children in the world by a husband. And then something happened where the husband wound up dying on a job. Dying by a stray bullet. Or just dying of natural causes. That woman is the one that needs to be bigged up and lifted up in the community. It's that woman. Because she did her job. She made sure she was married. She made sure that she had kids. And I know some of you sisters that's listening to me. I know you're just like saying to yourself well that's true because i'm in college i i don't spread my legs to to any man or anything like that i'm going to school i'm trying to make ends meet but i can't but yet when i turn around and i'm looking at all these women getting pregnant and stuff they're getting a whole lot of things they're getting section eight let me tell you something let me tell you something i, I think i'm going to go i'm gonna make this a part two I'm going to go into part two, and I'm going to really, really break down this very, it's going to be under a different, done or a different title, but I want everybody to understand, I want everybody to understand that this is a very serious problem. We have so many women, black women being complimented of being mothers. Let me tell you something, a mother lays down with a father. What we have is males laying down with females. We don't have no men laying down with no women. Get the hell out of here. We have none of that, hardly any of that in our community of men laying down with women. And when I'm talking about men laying down with women, I mean husbands laying down with wife. We hardly have that in our community. Shoot, all the kids that you black women are having without a husband, but yet you count yourself as a queen? Get out of here. Let me tell you something. The king, the king marries the woman and makes her a queen. She is made by the king. She is chosen and elected by the king. Y'all been laying down with peasants and y'all calling yourself queens. Y'all ought to be embarrassed of yourself. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself that you even consider yourself a royalty when you're used up. So I get it. Whenever y'all... Whenever y'all good and prime, y'all want the bad. When y'all used up and devalued, now you want something good. Uh, excuse me. Why don't you correct that? All right? Correct that. Stop with the damn cheap shots, black woman. I hear you. Oh, but you hate your mom. Uh, I'm a product of that. I'm a product of a, man, a male and a female laying down and having me. That's why I could talk about it. Yeah, my mama black. Yeah, she did the same damn thing that you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what? Bring, bring. Go ahead, go ahead. Say what you want. Bring your hate mail. I'm just telling you the truth. You just get you're mad because I'm telling you. You're mad because a black man is telling you. And this is love right here. Because any woman that's not shameful ain't worth the damn. I want you to feel shame. Feel shame for all those abortions that you had. Murdering over 550,000 babies. I want you to feel ashamed. I'm ashamed 
y'all until y'all change y'all. Shame y'all to change y'all. That's it. Till then, I'm the raw truth. Send your hate mails, your death threats. I don't give a damn. But I'm the raw truth. Coming at you with a part two is going to be under a different title. Peace.